Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug and this is another fountain pen video, but this is a very special one. This is my thousandth subscriber thank you video. And I'm in beautiful Canmore, Alberta, surrounded by Rocky Mountains and a freshly fallen bed of snow. So I thought I'd come out here and thank you for a thousand subscribers. So apparently you folks like watching me will trudge through the snow. Well, this is some footage you haven't seen. This is me going to the mailbox the other day, falling in a snowbank and being rescued by one of our Canadian lifeguards. The mouth to mouth came a little bit later. Well, I've come to one of the snowier places in Alberta and actually one of the most beautiful places in the world to do this introduction trudging through the snow I'm not going to a mailbox I'm going to the middle of a field in the middle of the mountains in Canmore Alberta and do a little panorama here you can see I'm surrounded by mountains and I'm outstanding in my field has a little bit to do with fountain pens, not a lot, but it's basically me saying thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe it, 1,000. And I wanted to thank a number of people, all of you people that subscribed, for supporting me in this fountain pen journey. And I'm really enjoying doing this. I'm learning a lot, and there's a few people that really supported me along the way. Of course, my friend Ron, who uh, loaned me a number of his really excellent pens. I have not gotten through them all yet. I will, and return them to him. Also, Bob of Fountain Pen Network, who encouraged me, continues to con encourage me to do these kinds of things. And Sam, uh, I'm calling him Sam because he doesn't want to be named. Uh, he, about six months ago, gave me a very beautiful Pen BBS 355 pen because he felt I needed to review it and own one. <laughs> so thanks, Sam. And also Joel, who just gave me that uh, beautiful Ancient Civilizations fully went. Uh, the generosity of this group of people in the fountain pen hobby have just uh, blown me away. You could uh, knock me over with a halibut. <laughs> so as we do a panorama of this beautiful scenery here in Canmore, thank you very much for supporting me. And what better way to say thank you to all of you than to give away a fountain pen to one of my subscribers. I did a giveaway back in January, and it was a lot of fun. But since it was my first time doing a giveaway, I made a few mistakes. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. This time I will not announce the winner at 6 a.m. my time. Thank you very much. I think I'm still jet lagged from waking up at 5 a.m. and editing video for two hours. No, no, I won't do that again. This time I will have a contest deadline and then announce the winner in the next published video. What am I giving away? Well... You'll just have to wait, won't you, until the end of this video to find out. In the meantime, while you hang on the antissa... I see you shiver with anticipation. Patient. I want to do a shout out to a few more people to thank, since I neglected them in my brain freeze at Quarry Lake in Canmore the other day. Freeze your brain. 
I already thanked Bob Page from the Fountain Pen Network, Cam for the Pen BBS 355, and Joel for the Fully Wen 2055. I really do appreciate all the comments as well, and many of them turn into really cool conversations and some terrific long-distance pen pal friendships, so keep it up. But I also wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to a few people who have expanded my awareness and my circle of friends online. To Bjorn the Hoink Zut, the wonderful artist and raconteur from Germany who constantly bombards my messenger with jokes and puns and crazy videos and who lured me into the Facebook Pen BBS fan group, Taste the Rainbow. Thank you, my stalker friend. I am building Marvin the pen-carrying robot as we speak. And all the wonderful, supportive folks that taste the rainbow, Jen, Louise, Mark, Donna, Deb, Chris, and Shari R. Thank you so much. And many more of you, of course. And, of course, Claudia of Bower Inks in Toronto, whose first messenger message to me was, Hey, Dougie! To which I replied, Who is this? At which point she crawled away into a corner. Thanks for your friendship, Claudia, and I look forward to trying out my first KWZ ink, as you are number five. I can't wait. And I've just been schooled by Claudia that it's not KWZ ink, it's Queasy ink. I'm feeling mighty queasy about that. And last but not least, my lovely wife, Wynne, for allowing me to putter around in the basement for hours on end. I wanted to spend a moment letting you know what I've planned for future videos. I've been concerned about the shrinking supply of inexpensive fountain pens to review with all the troubling issues happening in the East, which are restricting travel and transportation. With supplies drying up and me now producing three videos a week on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, I was thinking of reducing that to about twice a week, maybe on Wednesdays and Saturdays. That will help stretch my content out a little until China gets a grip on the crisis. The focus of this channel has always been inexpensive fountain pens. They don't have to specifically be Chinese, but I'd say they should be under $50 US, wherever they're from. If I was a collector of Visconti's, I'd produce one video review a year. But this is what I have coming up in the next few weeks. This package just arrived on Friday and was a surprise gift to me from my friend Ron who felt I should get in on the Amazon Basics fountain pen bandwagon. Apparently, Amazon just released this pen in Canada on Monday, March 2nd. As you can see, I've not opened the box as I'm waiting to do that on camera and do a full review of this $9.99 US American Chinese fountain pen by Jinhao. I think you might be catching my drift on my thoughts about this pen even before opening the box. And... I've been writing with this lovely pen for the last week or so. This is the subject of my first episode of Pass Gas with Doug, which you can see linked right up here on your screen. This is why Bjorn the Hoink is now calling me Delphi Doug, because I correctly predicted the release of a lower-priced Moonman M800 with a Moonman nib instead of the Bach nib. And lo and behold, the pen was released, and here it is half the price of the one with the Bach nib. There's a lot of controversy about this pen, which is about 90%, I'd say, identical to the Leonardo Officina Momento Zero Blue Abyss. At 17 syllables, that pen is about $11.75 US a syllable. This Moon Man is only about $4 a syllable by comparison. Plus, I have a beautiful Visconti Rembrandt, a Cross Radiance, a Monteverdi Impreza, a Parker Classic, and an Elise Gold Nib, as well as some interesting past gas field trips in mind for your virtual shopping pleasure. As my friend Ron says, something to look forward to. So I thought it was fitting that I look over my collection of wonderful Pen BBS pens, and I thought, what better way to say thank you but to give away one of these beautiful pens? And which of you guys is going to leave the nest? And what do we have here? Those of you that don't like Pen BBS can probably just switch away at this point because this is all Pen BBS from now on. From left to right, we have the 480. This is Galaxy. The 480 in Amber is a Cat. 
the 308 in cedar, the 308 in amber as a cat, the 308 in infinite, the 323 in clear glass, the 323 in amber as a cat, the 323 in Tootsie, the 323 in black tortoise, and the 491 in corderite. So from these 10 pens, I'm going to select one to give away. And I'm going to do that selection extremely scientifically. We're going to go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a fountain pen by his toe. If he burps and catch you, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And there we have it. And what is this? This is the clear glass, 323, with a snake roll stop, which will go with the pen. The ink is mine. I will keep it. I will clean it out. And one lucky subscriber is going to win this pen. All you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment below. Any comment will do as long as it doesn't have any of my instant rejection keywords in it. What is your favorite fountain pen under $50 US? Discuss. Talk amongst yourselves. You don't need to comment on that particular topic to be eligible, however. Any comment will do. I will randomly select one subscriber's comment at midnight Pacific Standard Time on Sunday, March 22nd. And it will be announced in my video posted Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on March 25th. Good luck to all of you, and thank you again for watching and subscribing. And if you like this very short video, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be informed when any new videos come along. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you all very much for watching. And that's all she wrote.